Oh my God, that's right at it. What's up guys, back again today. Part two out here at Hawkins Woods. We're doing a challenge. Both of our total scores, stroke play, put together working as a team today has to be under par. Par is 60, two people, 120 strokes. Quick math, I'm a scientist. You are. To beat par, 119 or better. We are currently two over our goal after nine holes. Fluff, mm -hmm. you know, he's been hurting me a little bit. Oh, no, yeah, I've been holding the team back. He's been, <laughs> he's been birdie and I've been bogeying, but this is where we turn around. This is where we just birdie, 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 birdie. Fluff don't like it here, back nine. Hole number 10, it's just straight up the hill, baskets to the left, it's probably like 325. Let's make some birdies. Okay. I mean, that is okay. We do not hate that. That's an okay disc golf shot. It's not great. It's not terrible. Get around it. It's going to be left of the basket, but I should have a putt. This is what I need right here. This is what I've needed the whole time. All right, putt. that's like a 15-footer. Got a putt. Frick yeah, dude. Mine was a little early. Probably hit one of these, dropped right down. But I do have a long bid. Fluff should be in for par. Oh, come on. Oh. It's a great run. Thank you. All right, well, a couple of pars there. No blood to start. Part two, the back nine of this video. I'm assuming there's a lot of birdie holes coming up. Haven't been here in quite some time. But the birdies will be made. <laughs> oh, scary. Those are both little cheeky makes. Yeah, those are way too one. close for comfort. Hole 11, par 3. This is a doozy right here. 313 feet. Basket down that right gap, which is tight the entire way, and it's off to the right at the end. Perfect crave for Fluffy. One of these, perhaps? Just get through that. What if I just there. go left? Oh. Bing bonged. I hit like eight trees in two seconds. <laughs> a good stop right there yeah my grip was all messed up I could see it from here <sighs> a little early on the flip ski but, but it's up got, there I got a phenomenal kick you're in the middle of the fairway oh let's go boys nice shot. this gap is just so devious it is scary and the thorns like if you guys oh. watch part one I mean the rough is ouchy it, it is hurts. it is very painful oh yeah Skip. Come on, get a skip. Oh, he's putting. I got a putt. Got a decent putt. How'd that feel? I didn't feel bad. I'm back. Oof, see and I over here, right next to each other. Mine's for birdie, his is for par. I guess I got bing bonged right about to 25 feet. I knew I saw it take a good bounce. I didn't know it was a phenomenal bounce. <laughs> for the boys. Yeah. Okay, well now the pressure's on me. Yeah, no pressure. No <laughs> pressure, dude. But it's kind of all on you. Let's Great putt. Let's go, man. That's we huge. get one back. All right, one under for the hole. Hey, we're playing pretty damn good. I'm making a lot of birdies. Bluff hates this course, but he's playing pretty well, all things considered, and it's only going to get better, I hope. All right, hole 12. We got a par four, 545 feet through the woods. The fairway isn't bad. The rough's really rough, as that's as the always. case for this whole course. Welcome to Hawkins Woods. <laughs> But you really just need like a 200 foot putter shot dead straight down here. Basket's like over there, par four, let's get it. Okay, fluff the comet guy. Keep turning. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep oh, going, yes. keep going, that is beautiful. Right over the stump I told him to go over. Perfect, right in the middle, let's go. Let's the go. early release, but hold Works the out. angle. Gotta love the comet, the comet will bail you out. <laughs> that used every inch of that left side Yeah, of that's hair. how you play the hole, right there. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. I mean, I think those are both perfect. Those are two pures. Great Let's shot. go. Fluff's Comet right here. My proxy's up there, literally dead central. Par four, Fluff. If you get us a par here, I'm birdieing. All right, bet. Kick something. Kick off of something. It's in the bush, you're fine. Josh with an absolute beauty. Pretty much as good as it gets, especially with the putter. But it's a tricky approach shot. There's a tree right in front of the basket with a bunch of branches, so the ceiling's pretty low. I'm thinking I have to go mid-range because of that and just try and make it. Oh! 
little bit of beef. It hit the branches and just dove straight. It didn't even hit branches, it hit leaves and dove straight left. I have a putt. That was looking pretty though. This is another shot where I'm being forced to do a standstill backhand. My least favorite and worst shot. Trust it. Dude, I mean that's- that's It's a putt. That's bad. It's a really, really big putt. It's a huge, huge putt. Dang it. There's plenty of time left and I'm cooking right now, there bro. Is. We gotta, we gotta find my disc, I'm making this birdie and we're fine. Oh, all right, boys, I'm pin high. The leaves kicked me left. So I'm in the woods, but I have a little gap. Oh my God. Oh my, come on. Great putt, my man. Great putt, dude. In a big time moment. The big time player makes a big time play. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Hole 13, 331 feet, dead straight, par three. The gap is a little weird with stuff like overgrowing and stuff, but it's cool. And when you get down there, there's a tree like right in the middle. But what I was just telling Fluff is let's just pump something right at that and hope it gets through to the basket. Oh, oh we're out of that, that. That's fine. Oh, I hit something late. All right, I'm gonna throw the hexy, try and do the same thing I just did on that last approach shot. Oh no. Not in the best of spots. Getting down and dirty yet again. Yeah, this isn't great, boys. Fluff, I might be making a bogey. Listen, you know what? I owe you one. <laughs> I'll do what I have to do for my disc. If you need to bogey here, no problem at all. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to, but I probably am going to bogey. I'm just Listen, telling you I will not right be now. mad if you bogey this. You do what you can, young Padawan. Ooh, actually. Uh-oh. I'm seeing a cheeky window. Oh, it's a putt. I could have done so much better. I was about to do something mad athletic. I don't know how athletic, <laughs> but. Oh my goodness. Sit there, right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Mad baby. athletic and shit. So athletic. I found myself in another doozy of a situation, although something different. This is for par instead of birdie. And I need it just as bad. <laughs> Drop. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Go. I had to throw the big Great hydra around pull. the branch. Great That's feeling pull. good, man. Let's Come on now. Ahead. Come on, boys. Fluff, please don't ruin it. Take your time. I mean, with an approach shot like that, I can't ruin this. It just, it can't happen. Fluff. Are you kidding me? It's a part of me. It's just a part of my game. Like, I can't make 12 foot putts. Bro, you got to come over and literally just make a thousand of these. Like, that's horrendous. You realize what I just had to do to save par? And this is all you had for par? Just that, and you didn't do it? Did you see my, my pro shot, though? That was pretty cool. We just had a long walk over here for you to think about what you've done. It was a very long walk. How do you plan on making it up to me and the people? We are currently two over as a whole. I'm about a million down. Mm -hmm. I'm only a few over. Check the tape. <laughs> you're uh, you're gonna have a little scoreboard for them. No, nothing, nothing but birdies from here on out. Mm -hmm. Not missing a single putt from circle one. Yeah, could be anywhere in circle one. Four feet, eight feet, twelve feet, all the same. Seventy-five feet. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. But I, I thought about it. I'm letting my boy down. I got to pick it up. We're gonna hit our goal. I promise. Hole 14, par four, 485. But there's no way to take a big chunk of distance off. Yeah. You kind of just got to chip. Chip a zone out there, get get it going left, baskets up there somewhere. Wow, that wind. Skip. It didn't go as left as we wanted, no. but you, you hit your gap. I'm gonna do the same thing, learn from that. I'm gonna keep it a little lower, more hyzer. Try and skip it around the corner. Hit some trees, but that's pretty much where you wanna be. All right, this is a tough shot here, folks, into this par four. I got to just push something straight on a forehand, dive right past those trees on the corner. Get down for the camera. All right, I'm putting for birdie. Definitely got to putt. All right, Fluff, keep in mind par four, okay? Your annies today, mm -hmm. you've been early releasing them. Very much. If that happens here, we're screwed. Yes. 
So don't think about throwing it too hard. Just chip mm -hmm. one down there. Absolutely. We don't need a ton of distance. Don't need you parked for birdie. Just need a par. Absolutely. I'll get a par right here. Perfect. That's all we needed. Safe. <laughs> you try to trust the great judge. I mean, that's brutal. Look, I was on your side for 13 and a half holes, but now I think I'm, I'm fully against you at this point. We find ourselves here again, folks. We're on 14, probably the 12th time of the day where I've <laughs> needed to make a birdie putt for us to not lose any strokes. Um, here we go. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fluff, you knew a miss was coming soon, man. I can't make them all all day. Why not? Oh, you got to make this putt. Okay, well, huge putt. Great putt. Here we go. Right in the heart. That's not even good. Come putt that. <laughs> oh, folks, you see, you see what I got to deal with? He's a great kid. He's adorable. I hate my life, you know. Might be the last video you guys ever see me. Thank you. What the Thank hell, you. dude? All right, we lose one stroke there. Hole 15, par three, 254 feet, straight, and then it fades off to the left. I mean. It's a tricky one. It's a very tricky one. Pad on this tree, that is never a good sign. Oh, miss it Hold all, it. miss it all, miss it all. Keep going. I think that's phenomenal. Fun. I think that's going to be really good. Might have cut the corner a little bit too close, but that's going to be nice. <laughs> All right, I haven't showed the Envy any love today. Can you freaking believe that? Yeah, that's weird. What? Oh, yeah. A little bidet action. Uh. Now go that way. Go left. Now go, go left. Way. Yes. A couple I great shots. I think we got a couple of birdie putts. Let's go, man. Part one, one of the early holes, we both were pretty parked, and I actually missed the putt because I was an idiot. Mm -hmm. Heated up after that, but since then, it's our only real chance to go birdie birdie. And boy, do we need it. Oh, we need it so bad. No. Good run. Come on, Joshua. All right, Fluff. <laughs> Give it a flip. Give it a flip. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not much of a flipper. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but I'm not a flipper. Got one. Got one. That hurts so bad. I'm so mad at myself. Hey, hey, you know what? I owe you a couple. Oh. Don't, don't beat yourself up, kid. All right, guys, as we go to the 16th hole, wandering down this beautiful pathway through the woods, let's walk and talk for a little. We need a lot of birdies here. We were just talking. We're not entirely sure because we haven't been doing a great job of keeping score. We're either one or two over from our goal as a unit. And either way, we need a lot of birdies. So hole 16 coming up. I think we have a couple more par fours, maybe. And we got to take advantage, make a lot of birdies. And as I say that, we walk up to this hole. <laughs> par three, 367 feet. And the gap is pretty crazy. Seeing a hyzer line that I've taken in the past, but it's not really super existent. <laughs> Piped, hyzer flip through the straight gap for the boys. No. Mm. That was tracking. Stand back up. We're no. Oh, no, we had a late one. That hurts really bad, folks. I'm not going to lie. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Two holes left after this one. And we might need to go star frame for the rest after this hole. That's what it's looking like. All right, sir. All right, brother. We have two options here. You could run this, get aggressive, try and make it steal a birdie. Mm -hmm. And not care where it goes after. But it could lead to a bogey. Yep. Or we keep in mind we have two more holes. You take a par here and we try and make birdie somewhere else. We need birdies. But we also don't need you with 20 footers for par. And... <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll just we'll see what just happens. see what happens. Yeah, throw it in that direction. Oh boy! <laughs> Time to clutch up. Pinched off left over here, but I do have a putt. This would be unbelievable if this were to fall. It'd be a sick putt. The crowd would go crazy. I think. I've already had so many of those today, though. 
Like, how many does a man have in him? Don't you just feed off of it, though? Don't you love it? Don't you love doing it? I do. Yeah, I do. There's one more for I just kids. don't want to disappoint. You low-key been disappointing me all day. It's about time you clutch up. Huh. All right. Remember that when, when you review this and see the scoreboard, all right? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh. I respect it. You thought I did it. I respect it. Because I thought I did it. Down below, let us know how bad he stinks. Fluff, fluff. You have about 35 feet here for par. And I would just like to let you know, if you don't make this, I'm finding a new duo. Max, Payne, if you guys want to come and be my duo on Diamond Disc Golf, if he misses this, let me know. It would be a pleasure to leave. <laughs> I'm sick of this kid. Getting down and dirty. Yeah. I don't hate a glitch putt. A glut? Come on! Mm. Well, I thankfully he hit best. a stump, and he's right here. I gave it my best run. So I think we can all agree we'll give him this one. And oh, you're so nice. Today. Yay. <laughs> and unfortunately, we lose another stroke. So Fluff, we got to go star frame, star frame these next two holes to even have a chance, but we probably still don't have a chance. Hole number 17, par four, 527 feet. It's, it's another one of them holes. It goes this way, it goes that way. Tight fairway. Need a birdie. Need a birdie bad. Mm. Skip. That was pretty. Okay, I'm in the middle of the fairway. Let's go. I'm gonna go Tesla. Just rip that thing. Keep going, get up. Not a bad kick at all. All right. Nice. Come on now. Fluffy right here. Mine's just a little further up in the middle of the fairway. Basket around this corner you guys see to the right. It's pretty much straight on from where Fluff's looking right now. What do you like here, Caddy? We got to be really aggressive, bro. No, I know. A driver. So we're thinking like, okay. Yeah, we got to park it. It's a par yeah. four. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Well, it skipped around the corner. Skipped a little bit. I'm going to have to throw in if I want a birdie, but I definitely have a par. <laughs> Which for you, how does that feel right now? Right now, feels great for the team. Not that great. <laughs> All right, Fluff. All right, buddy. I gotta throw, I gotta execute right now. That's his straight in the middle. This would be phenomenal for the boys. This would be a disc golf shot and a half. I gotta throw something stable, pretty high, a lot of Annie, let it. If you make this happen, they might give you a rating. I got this. You got this. How's that? That's looking really good. I think I'm good though. It I felt think great. you're good. You're right outside of the circle, maybe. <sighs> All, All right, Fluffy, right. make a break time. Stay up. Wow. Great run, brother. Thank you, dude. I tried my best. I tried my best. Down and dirty yet again. Hey, brother. Well, I, I have a straddle putt if I want to go to the left side, but I just don't like straddle putting at all. Done this plenty of times today. Yeah, you have. Hopefully, I can do it again. What? No. <sighs> I mean, player one has been cooking today, but when he hasn't been, player, player two's, two's been, been on there. He's showing up right now. So things are things are trending right now, folks. I haven't mentioned anything, but I'll mention it briefly for the couple of you that made it this far. I'm entering some tournaments. I'm already in them. It's time to take this game to the next level, see what we got. I'm entering a bunch of local tournaments. Got the boys helping me. We're gonna see what we could do. Let's get on to the next one. Hole 18, folks. We got a par three, 360 feet. The basket's like over there. It's a really tricky hole. Fluff's gonna go spot for me, and then I will spot for Fluffy. Oh, the grip lock, that's probably gone. Not gone. <sighs> Played a dangerous game right there. That thing sounded like a freaking airplane. Send it into that big pine tree. The basket's right below it, on the right side of it. All right, guys. Hole 18. I got a birdie putt somehow after a grip lock Tesla. It would be beautiful to end with a bang. It's been a great day. I've played well. Fluff's, you know, here and there. Fluff played today. But I'm out here with my best buddy playing some disc golf. It's been phenomenal. Let's end it with a bang.
Oh my god. Let's end it with a bang. Let's Come on now, go, brother. man. Great wow. putt. I mean, my putting, guys, is feeling really good. I would love to say I've been working on it a lot, but not a whole bunch. It's honestly just kind of clicking, and it's around the right time. Like I said, tournament's coming soon. Fluff Stay tuned. DNF'd on this last hole. Yeah, you know, hole 18, it uh, really separates the men from the boys. And uh, I'm a little boy today. Yeah. Uh, if this is your, your home course, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this place is ass. Nah, I will not be back ever. Honestly. I might not come to Massachusetts ever again. <laughs> I might just stay in Rhode Island. My thoughts on the course, it's definitely very challenging. The rough is just, it's crazy. But this course would be like beautiful if the rough wasn't as rough. Like yeah. it, when we say it's 95% thorns, like it is all thorns. Yeah. Like it's rough. Legs right now, bad. Torn to shreds. But honestly, the fairways for the most part are very hittable. Like yeah. they make them nice and wide and open. There are a couple exceptions. Yeah. So it's like. You could say you just got to hit the fairway, but that's just hard to do consistently. And I'd rather not get my legs cut up if I'm in the, in the woods. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Game's feeling good. And honestly, Fluffy just has a little mental block here. We'll try this again at another course soon. Next video, stay tuned. Hey, mile marker. Never. <laughs> thank you guys. Peace.